I had a subscriber who was a little bit confused about the difference between these two terms. And I thought, you know, where one person is confused, there could be a thousand who just don't ask the question, right? Uh, so I want to talk about the terms of, of direct response, direct response copywriting versus conversion copywriting. And like, is one better than the other? So um, like, what is the difference? So direct response actually comes out of the mail order marketing world, mail order advertising world, uh, where where a, 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 a copywriter would write a sales letter or some kind of marketing piece and they would put it uh, out and there would be a mailed in response and then the, uh, then the order would be fulfilled, right? Um, so the term comes out of that. It comes out of getting a direct response from the consumer of the order and then fulfilling it, right? Having that direct relationship with the consumer. And uh, that existed like in advertising for you know, well over a century, right? And uh, s since definitely since uh, at least the year 1900, but probably going back much further than that. In fact, I believe Ben Franklin even did some kind of direct response marketing. Um, and so that's direct response, and and it's it's actually been called by many different names through through the years. Like mail order advertising lasted for a long time, but then suddenly there were all these other uh, mediums that were being used for largely the same purposes: put out an advertising message, get a response directly from the consumer, fulfill the order directly to the consumer. So you're going around like the retail distribution channel with making the sales. So that's. Uh, that that discipline has has existed for more than a hundred years, and it's been developed, and it's grown, and so on. And then along comes the internet. And uh, you know, in the early days of the internet, there was there was definitely this belief that okay, uh, this changes everything. Like suddenly, you know, we we're 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 dealing with this new medium that's that's so different, and it changes everything. And the answer is yes and no, like it did and it didn't. Uh, fundamentally what you're doing and like fundamentally what you're doing is you're still putting out a sales message designed to persuade someone of the value of an offer and to get them to take action and submit their order on that offer. And so you, you got onto the internet and you know, the people that tried just like having a website for the sake of having a website and believing, you know, that their riches were made, that didn't work. But even all the way back in 1994, Ken McCarthy started teaching this idea that the, that, that the, the internet is basically like direct mail on glass is what he called it. Like you have the world's largest post office hooked up to the world's largest printing press. And you can basically just send out an unlimited number or you can have people request an unlimited number of uh, communications. And uh, and 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 there's like no there's no friction in the system to that and there's no cost no substantial additional cost to each additional person that that um, that is going to engage with your selling message and and so Ken very early on recognized and uh, definitely by the time he started teaching the system seminar in the year 2000 he started teaching that um, traffic plus conversion equals profits that you have to get qualified traffic to your website and you have to convert them uh, in other words get a direct response from them and um, and and you generate profit with your internet marketing and somewhere along the way certainly after the year 2000 Somewhere along the way, these copywriters decided that they were internet copywriters. And I've written most of my copy for the internet. So like I say these copywriters as if it's somebody other than me, but uh, these copywriters decided, hey, I'm an internet copywriter. And like, it's super cool that I'm using this new medium called the internet. And like, I'm an expert on this new medium called the internet, right? And, and they, and that like demanded new language. So I'm a conversion copywriter because we do conversion rate optimization and conversion testing and all of that. But what ended up happening is like, when you assume that everything is different because of the medium that you're using, it is easy to completely ignore all the lessons of the past. And so if you are a conversion copywriter, you're going off like 10, 15, maximum 20 years worth of best practices. And a lot of, 
a lot of copywriters like to think about this with social media. Like copywriters are, are thinking on like, oh, what's what works in the last 12, 24 months is all that's important, right? And uh, to, to a degree, that's true. Because to a degree, you're always writing copy for the now. But there is so much to be learned by studying, not just since the internet started being used heavily as a marketing medium, but all the way back since people started tracking, testing, advertising, and comparing response to different messages, different advertisements. And so you can go all the way back to scientific advertising, Claude Hopkins scientific advertising, which like I've recorded an audiobook because it's so important. It's a hundred years old. You can get the free audiobook in the in the link in the description. It's a hundred years old, and yet it's still the best book on internet marketing out there because it it lays down a set of principles that apply to conversion copywriting because from the beginning, Claude Hopkins, like it's called scientific advertising. We're going to test multiple things. We're going to see what works best and we're going to use that. And so the entire field of direct response has like decades and decades of additional experience and best practices on conversion copywriting. And most people who consider themselves a conversion copywriter, if they don't consider themselves a direct response copywriter at the same time, they're like blind to so many, so many lessons that could be learned by just looking back and seeing what's worked before. And so like, is there a difference between direct response and conversion copywriting? In reality, like no, right? But if you ignore direct response because you think you're a conversion copywriter, if you ignore things like Claude Hopkins and scientific advertising because it's 100 years old and existed before the internet, you're missing out on so much opportunity to be better at what you do to get higher conversions, to, to uh, generate more response, more profits, more uh, leads, customers, sales with your marketing. And so they are and they aren't the same thing. They are the same thing because ultimately, like the goal is the same thing. We're trying to generate a direct and measurable response from our prospect. And we succeed or fail based on our ability to convert them, right? Uh, which is to get that response, to get the order, to get the lead, to get what whatever. But um, by considering yourself a direct response copywriter and looking at the entire history of direct response and having that to pull from four great ideas, then you, uh, you have just a, a much, much richer palette that you can pull from in terms of proven marketing methods. I don't know. What do you think? What do you think? Should, should we just leave the whole idea of direct response behind and all become conversion copywriters? Or, um, or, or do you agree that like there's a lot to learn from history, even if we still have to write marketing for today's medium and today's, today's market? Uh, uh, I think you hear where I fall down on that. So leave a comment below. Let me know. Uh, let me know your thoughts on that. Also, make sure you like this video so that you can get more content like it. Also, so the magical algorithms of the internet can share it with more people like you. You can also share it yourself with people who might find it valuable. And make sure that you subscribe. You can follow me here. You can also go to BreakthroughMarketingSecrets.com to get my emails Monday through Friday. And uh, those include these videos as well as additional content on marketing, copywriting, business building, sales, and more. My name is Roy Fur. This is a video issue of Breakthrough Marketing Secrets. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again in your next video. I'll see you soon. Bye.